I'm back at it again. And I'm doing what I promised and finally using this palette. So, let's get started. I'm gonna do a palette bingo with it. So, we're gonna go, I'm gonna put it in a random generator and go by the number, like, probably, this is one, two, three, four, five, and so on, all the way down. Random.org to do it, so yeah. And then I'm gonna click generate again, and we've got six, which is a matte. Well, a matte with suspended glitter. Numeria? Numeria? I'm terrible, I didn't really watch Game of Thrones after the third, no, fifth season? I don't know. I stopped watching it. It just. It was alright. So that's what it looks like so far. So we're doing, we're doing pretty good. I'm not mad. Not mad at all. Okay, and then for the next one, we've got two. We're just getting all, okay, there's a shimmery blue shade, which is White Walker. <laughs> awesome. Oh, yeah. I don't know how I'm going to make these work together, but we're going to do it. I think I'm going to do five or six shades. We'll see. Okay, so next one is 12. Which will be Casterly Rock, which is this like deep bronzy shade. And then that's four colors right there. And then I'm going to do it again. And we got 15. Which is Lannister Red right here, which is another map. Okay. one more shade. So we're gonna go in again and we've got number nine which is the site. Sorry it took me a while. I can't remember how I was doing it. I almost forgot that it was weirwood leaves which I think maybe would have gotten a little little better with this but We've got this cool green shade. Okay. Okay. So that would be Hard Home, Nymeria, White Walker, Casterly Rock, Lannister Red, and The Sight. I'm priming my eyes with my ABH primer, like I always know. I kind of like how, like, even though this is ginormous, that you can just take the palette out, but, like, the mirror... I don't know how I feel about the mirror still being here. But, like, I like how it's kind of, like, you know, just a collector's piece. I don't collect a lot of makeup, but the stuff I do, I'm like, yes, I want this to look amazing. And I know some people are going to be like, what? You haven't seen the whole season? Um, the whole series? I haven't. I'm sorry. I've only... Actually, I'm not sorry. Okay? I've, I've seen most of it. Like, up to season five or something like that, I think. I don't know. I stopped watching once I realized uh, that they were just kind of going off on their own thing. And, especially, and then I watched the season finale and I was like, oh, I'm so glad I was not invested in this. Okay, so I'm gonna start out with uh, this shade, which was Nymeria, and that's gonna be a real great transition shade. I know I'm being basic, I'm not sorry, but um, this is like my first time doing a pal palette bingo too, so cut me a little slack. I'm not, I'm not like um, that's makeup corner and beauty bean and she's doing all this amazing creativity just right on the ball and I know they hate doing like the browns it's like 
transition shades, but honestly, my mattes are only brown, so I'm not sure if they would have been able to do anything crazy with this either, but we will see how this goes. Sip a sip it. My husband made me some vodka and lemon. It's kind of like a daiquiri, but we didn't have rum, so he just used vodka. Okay, so I used Nymeria, and I'm going to go in with Lannister Red to deepen that up, because, I mean, what else the hell am I going to do? <laughs> but it's going to be basic. I'm technically not the most creative person out there. Ah. <sighs> I noticed a lot of my looks are recreations or based off of a look that I've already seen, which I don't know if that's good or bad. Um, I do try to credit people when I can. I think I kind of want to go like do these two on the lid and have this on the lower lash line and maybe this on the inner corner or also on the lower lash line lash line, but I'm not sure, because this the blues throw me off a little a little bit, I'll be honest. I think that would be cool as an unicorn highlight, though. I think I'm going to go pretty basic. I'm sorry, because I don't... This blue doesn't... I don't know. It, I don't want the lower lash line to be too, like, calm. So we could do these on the top, maybe, and that's an inner corner highlight, and this on the bottom. <sighs> oh, we're doing the green on the top. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go for it. I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna fucking do it. Okay, so I'm gonna get out some Milani Make It Last setting spray um, for this. I just in case I usually always spray them unless I'm feeling extra lazy. And with Urban Decay, I don't like. Sometimes they're decent, but like, yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna fucking spray it because I'm, uh, I, I don't wanna mess with it. Putting the green down. I maybe should have done a cut green first, but oh well, we're already fucking here. This, these are not so bad, honestly. I wasn't sure what to expect with an Urban Decay palette because uh, yeah, I never know. The Christian Leon one was okay. Uh, Naked Smoky was not. Um, the Jean Michael, the best, best I'm, I'm terrible, I'm pronouncing things, I'm sorry. I really do love this artwork, but I'm just so terrible at pronouncing names. I say it wrong every time, so, so I don't offend anyone, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna not even try. Um, those, well, I liked the gold one and the, the colorful one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Some misses there for sure. Okay, so I'm gonna quickly wipe that off on my switch. It's not the actual color switch, it's the <laughs> JCAT one because it's much cheaper. I'm not gonna spend a zillion amount of money on the color switch. Just like the beauty blender thing going on there. This one's a lot easier to pick up on, pick up on the brush. Um, the camera just died and then tried to fall on the floor. I was like, I, I give up. You can't, you can't make me do this anymore. Cool. Okay. Um, I'm still gonna try, but if you think you're done, you're done. So now I'm just taking both sides, and I got green on one side and blue on the other, and I'm just gonna go. <laughs> back and forth to blend these a little bit better. So, that is the top. I'm gonna finish my, f I'm like gonna do my face. And then we'll do the lower lash line. I'm not entirely sure. I should take that green up a little farther. I really hooded lies. 
and I've been kind of looking at it like this instead of like like this because you can't see it when it's like this. So I think I'm going to take that up a little further and then I'm going to do my face and then we'll come back and do the lower lash line. I'm not sure if I'm going to put liner on. I might do lashes. I'll try lashes. We'll see how it goes. Okay? Okay. I think I'm going to do this is the inner corner and this is the lower lash line. So, hi guys. So, I recorded doing the lower lash line and uh, putting on blush and I was just going to put one on highlight when I found out that stupid phone wasn't or my stupid camera wasn't recording. But anyway, I finished using the <sighs> okay, Casterly Rock on the bottom and kind of created like a little underling on both sides. And then I used Hard Home like on the inner corner on the lower lash line. And that was the rest I did. But after saying I was going to raise up the blue and green a little bit. So, there's that. And then I used Kat Von T Honeysuckle for my blush. And um, I used uh, ABH Tawny Bronzer because why wouldn't I? It's, my name's Tawny. I had to. It's probably the only reason I bought it. But anyway, I was just about to go into this blue iridescent highlight. I wasn't sure which one to pick. I think I'm just going to go for the blue and see how it works. So. This is a Nikki Tutorials collab highlighter with Ofra. Space Baby is the name. I'm just gonna take that. Oh yeah. I might mix in another one. I think, I think we're gonna have to. I think I'm, I don't know if I should do this pink one, Cloud Nine, or if I should just go into Glazed Donut. Oh, we can create a purple. Did tone it down a little bit. Okay, and I don't think I'm going to do liner, but I'm gonna maybe put some lashes on. I might need liner for that. I'm just gonna go in with its blow up here. God, I wish this stood up. Probably should have put this on. Oh, I forgot to put in that liner. So I think I'm gonna go in with this blue one from LA Girl, the Shockwave Liner in Electric, and my waterline. I do my waterline from 
gonna go in with Old Flame from Dose of Colors. the top of my head a little bit and decided to put some orange well with the navy blue that I had <sighs> to get this awesome um, scream look. It's awesome. I know it's an awesome place. Yeah. Anyway, here you go guys. I think we did good. For but that's not going really, really happy with it. It matches my hair pretty well too. Hell yeah. So, <sighs> I'm sorry if my lashes are really wonky. Like I said, I think I put them on once or twice before this. So I don't wear them often, but I decided I'd try since I just got lash glue because my other stuff congealed. <laughs> I'm guessing it gets a little too cold in North Dakota for it, but there you go. I think this one's a little wonky for sure. This one probably is too, but like, I can kind of feel this one. It feels different for sure. Yeah, this one's up a little higher, I think, but anyway, first try. At least in a while, not bad. I also use that Arctic Fox hair color for this. So, that's my palette bingo with Game of Thrones palette. I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for coming. Bye!